You won't believe what happened to me today. I was driving around on this beautiful day and I decided I want to get some ice cream. So I pulled into a parking lot, found a parking spot, and said, boom, ka-chow, I'm so awesome. I walked out of my car in slow motion, of course, excited that I'm about to get some ice cream. I walked into the ice cream shop, came out of the ice cream shop, and said, mm-mm, this is nummy. But then, the most unthinkable thing happened, a vile act of humanity as I bumped into a dude and dropped my spoon on his shoe. I know. I told him I was sorry. I told him I was really, really sorry. But he screamed in a rage, more like a rampage, clenched his fist, ready to swing at me, but then I went into beast mode. See, you don't mess with this guy, especially when he's eating ice cream, because bad things will happen to you. I mean, bad, bad things will happen. But what exactly is Beast Mode? Beast Mode is taking a gimbal like the Zhiyun Queen 2 and adding accessories to it, so you have better control of your camera movements. You've got your dual handle grips, your wireless remote to control the camera and gimbal, secondary monitor, small friction arm with mini ball head to hold the monitor, an HDMI cable to connect the monitor and the camera together, turn it on, and you're in Beast Mode. Sure, you don't need to go into Beast Mode to capture great camera movements. The Zhiyun Crane 2 is perfectly great on its own. But sometimes, sometimes, when you want to take better control of your life and better control of your camera movements, then going Beast Mode is absolutely necessary so you can take shots like this. You okay? You okay? Okay. All right, so let's sit. Mode.